I am Maga Diaz from Cinephilos. It's an honor to be here. Um, I love the show. I, it's incredible. And um, I have one question for Victoria. Tell me what similarities did you find between your character and you? There's plenty of of similarities between these two women. They're both they're both you know doing their best and it's certainly trying not to cause harm along the way. I don't know. They both they all have my face. You know, like that. I always, I always think of that being like a major similarity. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people are like, "Who well, these two people? What are they like?" They're like, "Whoa, they look the same." <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I I always focus more on what what makes them different. You know, they're women. They're American. They um they haven't had an easy way of life. They haven't ever necessarily fit in so well. Um, they find themselves extremely isolated. Yeah. No, I think you did a, you did a great uh, portrayal of your character. <laughs> um, so Oliver, you know, Peter is a villain and a friend. So how did you balance these extremes in your character? Uh, well, I think I think what's interesting is uh, why I'm definitely interested in uh, is the kind of what makes us human and 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 uh, the flaws that we have that we try to hide or uh, we suppress. Or with Peter, there, there were certain things that I I, I did kind of struggle with because I don't behave in, in certain ways, it behaves, but. But what I'm really glad about is that uh, the kind of fully formed character that you see this uh, behavior on the one hand and then you understand where it's come from on the other. And so I think that it's often the case with people that are uh, quite kind of like macho show off, but actually there's something very, very vulnerable in there. And I'm glad that throughout the show, we get to kind of show those kind of all of those facets of, of who he is. And we get to understand why Rebecca is so, so drawn in, you know, because she understands the, the, the dynamics of this person and, and the complexity there. And, and she, she understands what's motivating it. And so she, and she, she herself seems to think that that means that she ought to tolerate it. And that's something we're exploring throughout um, the season. That if we can understand and sympathize or, or empathize with another person, if that necessarily means that we have to tolerate uh, and allow that behavior in our lives. Yes, I, I think the same, guys. Um, I have one more question for Henry. Um, while reading the script, what were the moments that shocked you the most? My character has, a, has an alter ego uh, that shows up in the in the script and that was pretty shocking to me um, but exciting because it, I was looking forward to being able to to play that as an actor but um, I thought in the story it was it was kind of shocking to to see him for the first time I, I think it was perfect uh, both of them. <laughs> So okay. thank you very much, guys. Um, this is all for today. So I can't wait for everyone to see the show. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. you so much.